hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel um today we'll be talking about the web browser browser yes the web browser did i just say browser here yeah. so today we'll be talking about browser and what a browser is how browser works and we'll show you how you can be able to debug your code using your browser right so that because when we'll be writing html and css we end up rendering in your browser your browser is responsible for rendering your html and css and you get to like see how the visual representation of whatever code you've written look like so this is um browser and we have like okay let me just talk about the like the types of browser we also have we have different type of browser like this um particular browser i'm using is chrome right owns by google and we also have firefox let me open firefox here uh so that you can be like just see what i'm trying to say I think you have Firefox coming up, Firefox, 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 uh, did I just, okay, he's here. So we have um, Firefox, this is Firefox, okay, not now, uh, let me just do dark mode, I love dark mode. Alright, this is Firefox, uh, uh, I don't know, I, I think I have Explorer or Edge, let me see, yes I do, Microsoft Edge. So uh, Edge is owned by Microsoft, the window guys. So we also have Safari. Um, let me show you. This is how Edge looks like. All right, this is Edge. We also have Safari owned by uh, Apple. Safari browser. Um, Safari is coming up. Okay, this is Safari, right? We also have uh, Opera browser. We have different kind of browser, right? So, uh, but today we'll be using Chrome to explain like the basics of how browser uh, will render your code and for you to be able to like ex inspect your code, your HTML and CSS because we'll be doing HTML like very soon in the next video. So this is browser and uh, we have different parts of the browser. We have the graphical user interface, which is the part you are currently seeing now. We have the internal uh, engine, which is the guy that is responsible for communicating across different components of the browser and sending resources uh, requests to external resources right and we also have like the rendering engine the engine that is responsible for rendering your html and css so for different browsers they have like their own type of rendering engine like for chrome have its own kind of rendering engine um for microsoft edge have its own rendering engine firefox and so on and so on uh, i will not be talking about that it's kind of complicated now but later as we go on we get to understand the rendering engine and how they work. So uh, next is um, like the networking aspect, which is responsible for handling your HTTP request or HTTPS, um, and also other protocol that the browser have. So um, the other part, the other um, component of the browser also is called the data storage. So we have like different kind of data storage. You have session storage, you have cookie, we have like different kind of um, storage. So these are like internal storage for your browser, right? Or we also have like the JavaScript interpreter, the guy that is responsible for executing your JavaScript code and render it on your client side. So that's like the basic of browser, right? And you have different components. So um, for, but for today, we'll be talking about the graphical user interface, how it, how it looks, how it works, and how you can be able to inspect your code, your HTML, and your CSS. So this is a um, Google uh, website. So let's, for example, let me come to this place. This is like your search bar. This um, bar is responsible for collecting whatever website or URL that you want to impute to to send requests to so you type your url here so just say google.com right uh you send your request which uh, the network guy is responsible like the network component in the browser is responsible for sending this request right um and the internet engine and the network guy the uh, they are responsible for collecting this input feed that you just typed and sending the request to the outside world and say oh uh, i need this document which is the html document for google Dot com so it will send you a response back and this is the response that you're seeing here so we can go to another website uh let's see mm, i like music so well, let me just say youtube.com so it will send a request to youtube server and and the response you get uh, the response can be either html css and other um kind of 
web document that you can be able to like render here. So uh, the the components of this HTML documents, we have like the images, the videos, the link and stuff like that, like YouTube. Now this is like YouTube, when how YouTube looks like when you send a request to YouTube and they will send you a response of their website. And this is how it looks like. And you'll be shocked that when I inspect this, you just, you notice that you just have HTML and CSS like. So for you to be able to like inspect, so let me go to Google, right? Um, let me go to Google.com. So because it's like basic. So Google.com here. For you to be able to see what Google.com page looks like, just right click, right? Uh, I just want to show you uh, the code that is responsible for generating this graphical user interface you're seeing currently. So just right click uh, on the browser and select inspect, right? Then it will show you an inspection mode. So in this inspection mode, we have like two panels. Um, that means when you are on the first tab, the first tab is elements, right? Which will show you all your HTML elements that you have, right? And when you select HTML here, this element, you get to see like another um, panel showing you here. You see styles, you see computer layout and events, listing and so on and so forth. So this part is just containing the CSS for this particular website. Why this is the HTML, as you can see, don't worry, we're talking about HTML, you get to know what div is, what style is, what HTML or HTML doc type, you get to understand those things, but this is Google website. And you can actually change this, right? You can just edit the code and see for yourself, right? Um, yes, you can edit it. So let me just add something at the top here. Let me just add an H1. Well, don't do this if it's not your website because after it reloads, you end up not seeing your student. So you can have H1, and you can see this is H1, and it's saying hello, right? So this is your HTML, and this is your CSS. And I can just, uh, for you to be able to like select any element, as you can see, as I'm hovering on this HTML document, all these tags that you're seeing, all these things are called tag, HTML tag. Um, you can call them elements or HTML term. So as I'm like um, hovering on them, as you can see, different section is highlighted by the browser, right? So uh, if you're not seeing this, you can just actually do that by clicking on this select an element page, like this guy, use this guy to select an element. So let's, for example, I want to select just only this go group. So I'll just select it like this so I can be able to like see the code here, right? So you're using this a lot for you to like select and um, probably if you want to select something you can just select this like this guy now um, is an input field wow so this button is an input field hmm. all right so you get to know what input field is right um so that's that so uh let's do something else um okay let me just show you basic of css like, let me just show you that i can actually change the css of this website but it will not be saved on their server it's just on my browser so but you get to like do your own create it and host it on the server and and you get to like visit it the way i'm visiting google.com so let me just change the background color of google.com um, page so i'll just change it to red hmm. and i was saying yeah so one nice color so it's called rebecca, rebecca purple wow that's the color name hmm. and i like the color it's nice it's cool smile like it's not sharp all right, this is Rebecca purple color. As you can see, I've changed the background color of this image. And because this body here is the guy responsible for this, and probably there are some other code that was injected to this button. So let's inspect it, this guy. So you see, we have this guy, this guy. So this guy is the guy that is responsible for that section. And we can decide to change it to Rebecca purple too. And this is how you look. So this is your HTML section where you can like turn off some styles, bring it back, and stuff like that. And also play with the HTML you have on this page. So like this is like the basics of a browser. So the next tab is your console. Um, this you'll be using this when you're writing JavaScript to, to like see your errors and stuff like that. Um, then the next is source. So this website, the source. Um, Structure this is how it looks like. So that's how you see www.google.com. You see they have images folder, they have JavaScript folder and X JS folder, right? And so on and so for you to be creating your own folder and putting those items in it. 
and this is the index page which is the the root the, the root file to this website right so we we'll get to learn those things and how we can create our own HTML and CSS and render it on the browser. So the next tab is network, right? This place is where you see all the requests you are sending to wherever um, resource you want to fetch, right? So let's say, for example, let me just reload this Google page and you see how this guy will send a request. You see, sending a request to Google server and these are the response I get for each of these requests I was sending. So and this is how you get to see your request. This is the request header. So if you select a particular uh, request, you can be able to see the request header. Don't worry, I'll teach you about request header later. We have like the preview. Um, we have respons responses and stuff, and this and this. Don't worry, you don't you don't understand this for now. But later on, you get to understand them. And we have all. You, you can load. You see all your JavaScript, CSS, images, and stuff like that. As you can see this is my image. All right, uh, this is performance where we get to like check when we're doing uh, web optimization. So this is where we get to like use it to run and see our performance of how our web website is performing. Uh, this is memory. Um, I don't want to talk about this now. Probably you will not understand anything that is happening here. So that is that for your browser. And this other thing is um, the guy that using toggling the, the kind of device. So if you want to see like how it will look like on. A mobile phone so you can select the kind of device you'll be rendering it so when we'll be doing responsive device like when we'll be talking about responsive web um, page you get to learn how to use this um, device toggler tool on your browser so you can actually change the width of the browser and see how it looks like and you also you can also change the the type of device you see I've changed it to Moto G4 right which is like a Motorola device so, so this is how you get to see your page on Motorola default device when you load that particular page after writing the code so that's that for how web browser looks and how web browser work and how you can use web browser to debug your HTML and CSS code so um, the next video will we'll be talking about HTML and I'll just be giving you a basic introduction of HTML and how you can be able to use HTML to create content for your website and after that, we'll talk about CSS, how you can make the, your website look beautiful by giving it color, adding style to it, changing the shape and how it looks, and adding some interactivities, right? So you get to learn about that. So if you know you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button so you, that you'll be the first person to see the notification of every video content I post on my YouTube channel. Um, please do this for you to be able to see content. I also do this to help me grow and to help me... Um, to get more followers and views and to help me have more subscribers so for monetization that's like the way you can help me so thank you for watching this video don't forget to click the like and subscribe because next we'll be going to talk about html see you.